So IAPD is another acronym, uh, Interreligious Association for Peace and Development, basically bringing people of faith together, particularly faith leaders, to address common concerns and issues uh, centering on our shared values. Uh, it was launched uh, about almost three years ago. One or two of you came to this incredible summit. It's the most unbelievable summit I've ever been to. 5,000 or I don't know how many people there. S senators, congressmen, government, uh, current and former heads of state and mere mortals like myself rubbing shoulders. And uh, IAPD was launched along with all the other associations, IAED and so on. And basically, uh, in IAPD, just to summarize, due to their moral authority and emphasis on human rights based on the principle that we are one family under God, religious leaders and people of faith can help rebuild divided societies and assist in humanitarian services for the alleviation of hunger, disease, and trauma due to natural and man-made disasters. So again, coming together to serve the public good. Uh, and just, so IAPD is a very new thing here, so we're gonna hopefully develop it in the coming year, and perhaps approach some of you to get involved. Uh, in Birmingham and the West Midlands, just a few examples, uh, and then I'll close, of uh, people of faith. So this is uh, women of different faiths, knitting blankets, clothes, hats, scarves, and then all of those were taken to Syria uh, about three weeks ago uh, for widows and orphan children uh, by the two ladies on the left who come from Yasmin's mosque. Some of you know Sheikh Nuru Muhammad, his uh, mosque community in Birmingham. Coming together to, to worship and uh, interfaith services. Again, we've done that three times in the last year uh, in very beautiful venues, particularly the Al Mahdi Institute on the right. This was just uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, I think Reverend Eve Pitts was mentioned, uh, the first black lady to be uh, come ordained in the Anglican Church. Uh, coming together to recognize the central importance of uh, family and marriage in our different faith traditions. I don't know if, Nadia, you can see Reverend Carver Anderson on the right uh, front row there. But people of all faiths, uh, again, coming together around our common concerns to empower one another. Uh, Patricia and I were privileged to receive a an award for UPF and Women's Federation activities by the Council of Faiths in Birmingham uh, back in September. And the gentleman front row, third from the left, is Dr. Peter Rooks. He's an oh, he's advocate for UPF. Uh, he sent his apologies from Singapore. And finally, uh, we had the opportunity to speak to um, about 100 people around the country. Anybody heard of the University of the Third Age? Uh, it's a very nice uh, institution. Peter's very much involved with that. So we, again, we had a chance to promote UPF around the country and the work of Women's Federation. Uh, so watch this space. Uh, we'll be doing more of these kind of activities, both here and in Birmingham and uh, South London, I think, uh, where I hope some of you can be involved in coming together to serve the public good. Thank you. Thank you.